I should really make a video today. Yeah, bro. I think you should. Yeah. But I have to clean up, fix my face, put on some nice clothes, make sure my apartment's, you know, got the right lighting and everything. Got to make sure the noise in the background is on point. Yeah, man. Maybe I'll just leave it for tomorrow. Don't you like watching Zuma with the homies? Hell yeah. I love watching that show. Monday through Thursday, you know I'm in there. I'm glued in and laughing my ass off. Yeah, I agree. Don't you think sometimes he doesn't want to do the show? He's probably not feeling it. He's probably not in the mood. I guess not. But every single week, he's coming through consistently, Monday through Thursday, with material and content. But, yo, get your ass up and make some content. Fine. I'll make a video today. Big bad procrastination. We all have experience with it. It is a content creator's nightmare and it's a production killer. But the question is, do we know how to get over it? Do we know how to deal with it? What I've seen as the biggest reason for procrastination is lack, also known in the scientific community as not enough alitis. I'm bullshitting, that's not true. <laughs> I just made that up. It's an idea that we don't have enough of what we need in order to create content or in order to produce the type of results we wanna produce. Let me give you an example. As a content creator on YouTube, you might have all these ideas to create videos. However, you don't have enough of light in the day, desire or drive that day to create a video, resources or equipment to create the video the way you wanna create the video, skill level to make a video that people will wanna watch, in your opinion. And the list goes on and on and on for the amount of things that aren't available to you for you to do whatever it is you're trying to do. So the way that you can get over that, this is a top secret secret here, all right? The way you can get over that is by simply just doing it. Just do the damn thing. Now I know that's a simplified version or a simplified way of thinking about it, but it really is just doing it. But in order to do it, obviously you need a little bit more than that. So the way to be able to do the damn thing is by finding your motivating factor that drives you to complete whatever it is the task you're trying to complete. So if you're trying to create a video, for example, you have to ask yourself, why am I making this video? What is it for? Who is it for? Who am I trying to reach? What message am I trying to put out? Once you get those answers down and you also find out the depth of those answers, now you can really feel motivated or driven to create this video. It's exactly how I was able to drive myself to create this content right now. I mean, I've had this idea for some days, but there are always different excuses. Oh, I gotta work on my place still. I've got a backsplash to complete. I've got a barn door to put up. I don't have enough time. I gotta go to work during the week. But in reality, you just have to prioritize and the way that you prioritize is by finding out what it is that motivates you to create whatever you're trying to create. So my motivation was I wanna put out great material for people and I wanna stay consistent. And I don't want my excuse to be something that I can actually control. So find your motivating factor, find your excuse that you're trying to get over so you can beat Not Enough Philitis. We can do this together. Thank you again for watching another video. Subscribe and like if you like this video and follow my channel. I will talk to you all later.